drummer with Bob Dylan when he went electric in 66, and because I was with Bob for two years, people still ask me today, well, who they think Bob Dylan's the greatest songwriter in the history of the world. And they want to know, well, who's Bob's favorite songwriter? And they want to believe that Bob's favorite songwriter is Arlo Guthrie, but it's not Arlo Guthrie. It's Hank Williams. I happen to think Hank Williams is the best songwriter in history. But Bob and I both put Gordon Lightfoot a close second to Bob Dylan and Hank Williams because uh, Gordon Lightfoot, nobody could turn a phrase like Gordon Lightfoot. And I'll tell you a quick story. When we were doing Rolling on the River in Toronto, uh, Gordon lived at 50 Alexander Street in Toronto. And the producer of the show knew that I was a real close friend with uh, Gordon Lightfoot. Terry, Terry can vouch for this. So Cecil Tuck and our producer saying, can you get Gordon Lightfoot to do our show, be a guest star on our show? Because he refused to do any Canadian television. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, I went over to his house one night, and we're sitting there, and <laughs> I'm playing a couple tunes, he's playing a couple tunes. I decided, I said, I said, Gordon, I want to play my very best song I've ever written. Wrote this for my wife, my now wife, called Forever. And I, I want to play this for you. And, 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 you know, for me to play a, my song for Gordon Lightfoot is like Terry going to Groucho Marx and say, hey, I got a great joke for you. Right. Well, you don't do that. I did it. And he did it. Yeah. We, 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 we okay, that'd be funny. I believe that. At the uh, Pat Paulson for dinner uh, at Entre Cafeteria, 99 cent dinner. <laughs> so anyway, I'm up there in Gordon's apartment and I'm playing this song for Gordon. He said, well, I want to play you a new song. I said, I want to hear it. He played me a new song that I made me wish I had never played my song. He said it was just on a 2,800-mile canoe trip across Canada and wrote 36 songs. And I said, well, I think I could talk you into doing a guest star on our TV show, Rolling on the River. He said, Mickey, you know how much I love you, and I love the first edition, but I have to say no, and I'll tell you the reason I'm saying no. When I was a young guitar player and a young songwriter trying to get a start here in Toronto, Canadian television, I did every Canadian television show, I wanted to do every Canadian television show, and they wouldn't let me. Now that I've made a name for myself, they're all on their knees foaming at the mouth trying to get me to do their show, and I've said no to every Canadian show. So, I would be going back on my own principles if I did your show since you shoot it out at CFTO in Scarborough. Uh, but trying. So he didn't do our show. And he wanted to. But he said I have to stand by my principle that I'm not, not going to do any Canadian television. And I, I understood that and I respected him for it. So, But Gordon Lightfoot man, is uh, oh god he's one of my favorite songwriters in the world. I spent a lot of time before I had the Troubadour in L.A. and uh, hanging out at Rock and Roll Hotel, the Hyatt Regency in L.A. And, uh, a lot, of, a lot of time with Gordon. Right. He is one of the best. Thank you, Mickey.